Hi, my name is Rafael and I'm from the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil. Today I will be presenting this paper entitled Thermodynamic Evaluation of Solid Oxide Fuel Cells Co-Producing Hydrogen and Power from Biogas. What is biogas? Biogas is a renewable energy source derived from the waste treatment. It can be used to produce heat, power or biofuels. Today, most biogas plants are designed for power generation with an installed capacity lower than 100 kilowatts. However, the efficiency of these systems is reduced by their size. This is a major limitation for the development of small biogas plants. And what we can do about it? We can propose new solutions. Thus, we analyzed a system that could produce power, heat, and hydrogen with high efficiency for small biogas plants. This system consists mainly of four equipment, a pre-reformer, a solid oxide fuel cell, a shift reactor, and a pressure swing absorption separation. In this idea, the biogas not converted by the fuel cell could be used to produce hydrogen and provide more profit. We analyzed two scenarios. The first one, producing hydrogen, power and heat. And the second one, only producing power and heat. We also compare the efficiency of using natural gas instead of biogas. But how we model this? In the methods, we propose an electrochemical model which was calibrated with experimental results from the literature. In this figure, each color represents a mixture of hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The model is able to predict the voltage for a current density with a good precision. We also model the changes of temperature and composition along the cell stack. This is a different approach since most studies use 0D or 1D models for the fuel cell. This can overestimate the efficiency, especially in the case of biogas. And we also ensure that the heat exchanger network and utility systems are integrated. Based on these assumptions, what we observe? Since the time short, only the comparison between the three generation with the cogeneration will be presented. If you are interested in the results using natural gas, please give a look at the conference proceedings. What we observe by comparing the three generation with the cogeneration is that the power consumption is much higher. This is because the hydrogen separation requires a compression from one bar to ten bar. Due to the increase in power consumption, the net power for the two generation system is lower, but the total amount of products is almost the same in the energy basis. The energy provided as heat in the cogeneration system seems to be shifted to hydrogen in the three generation system. This is because the hydrogen not converted by the fuel cell is no longer burned but mostly separated. However, when we look at the energy analysis results, we see a great difference. Hydrogen provides a lot more energy compared with heat. Thus, the energy efficiency for the three generation case is 35% higher. From 45% of energy efficiency in the cogeneration, we can reach to 60% in hydrogen production. So, what is happening? In the pinch analysis, we see a reduction in heat load and temperature differences. And this is simply due to the fact that we are burning less fuel. We are converting, separating and selling this for other users. We can also observe the main sources of irreversibilities are the heat exchanger network, the burner, the fuel cell and the emissions. Hydrogen production is able to reduce the energy destruction in multiple equipment. We also analyze the influence of some design variables in these systems. Based on these results, it can be concluded that the three generation has different optimal conditions. For instance, a cogeneration system has maximum efficiency 
at high fuel use ratios, around 0.8. On the other hand, a tree generation system has maximum efficiency at low fuel use ratios, in this case 0.4. A similar difference is also perceived for the anode recycle rate. The analysis of other design variables is presented in the full paper. Please check it out if you are interested. Thus, to conclude this presentation, let's recap the main features of this paper. In short, we propose a quasi-2D model of a solid oxide fuel cell with internal reforming working with biogas. We also evaluated the efficiency of tree generation system producing hydrogen, power, and heat for small biogas plants. As the main results, we see that although the energy efficiency for the cogeneration is similar to the tree generation, the hazard analysis shows a 34% increase in efficiency. There are major sources of irreversibilities in the heat exchanger network, the burner, in the fuel cell, and in the emissions. Most of these inefficiencies can be reduced with hydrogen production. Lastly, the optimal design variables for tree generation are different. Thus, these systems require new optimization studies. And with this, I conclude my presentation. I would like to thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions, please send it to me via email. Thank you very much.